Ah, good morning. Ha. So I'm here, uh, it's David here, at um, the A Place in the Sun exhibition at the NEC. Um, so I thought we'd have a look around and see what it's all about. So, um, there's lots and lots of people here today. I think probably if I can show you a couple of things, you think that um, post-Brexit that there's not as many people looking to move abroad, and specifically from the UK, um, you'd be mistaken. It's absolutely rammed in here. Uh, there's Johnny and uh, Yasmin, I think the name is, isn't it, off the show? There's a big uh, long queue here. And these people are waiting for an opportunity to have a photograph with them. Um, so we'll take a walk through the main hall and try and keep the camera as steady as possible for you. Um, the exhibition, I mean, Clay France and A Place in the Sun have been working in partnership for easy now, 15, 20 years. Clay France are, I think we're the second biggest advertiser on the A Place in the Sun website. Uh, we've got a good relationship with them. Uh, and these shows are really good for the general public, especially ones that are starting out. And this is the hub in the middle. And there's going to be, uh, on those sofas there, there's going to be somebody, probably uh, Johnny and Yasmin, doing some sort of talk about buying abroad. Um, but you can see there's a good, what, 250, 300 people there waiting for it to start. Um, take a bit further in. Obviously, the, a place in the sun is not just France, like Clay France is just French property. A place in the sun's got places all over the world. We have Spain here, we've got America, another big Spanish properties uh, stand here. Uh, Italy, Greece, Portugal, Cyprus here. All, uh, very interesting. More Spain. And we come into They've, even though I think on their website they've got 60, 70,000 Spanish properties for sale and only 15,000 French, of which 3,000 of those are Clay France, um, they have a French village. They don't have a Spanish village, they have a French village. Quite interesting. Um, screen test here, you can do a screen test if you wanted to get on the TV show and be a star. Um, so we've got into the French village. There's a talk going on at the moment, so it's probably be a bit, bit loud. Uh, but you see, there's a good 100, 150 people here um, listening to this uh, chat. Sorry, I don't know what the discussion point is, but the seminar's on during the day. So the seminar's on how to uh, buy abroad, or, or currency exchange. Uh, uh, getting a mortgage, you, you name it, that sort of thing. Lots of good information. You can also get coffee and a sandwich while you're here. There you go. Plenty of seating. If we walk around a bit more, um, I mean, the exhibitions are good places to come if you're at the start of your journey on thinking of buying a house abroad. If you are further down the line, there's probably just it's easy to go online and search websites like our website, clayfrance.co.uk. Um, well, there's many different portals where everybody advertises. But if you're at the start of the journey, sometimes it's, it's quite nice to speak to someone in person. And here, even though, especially if you're not decided, if you're not decided on Greece, Italy, Portugal or France, then perhaps coming here you might... Uh, make a decision for you by speaking to somebody. But if you're targeting a country, say, say you're targeting France, there's a couple of uh, immobilier here from France, and you can talk to them and you can ask them all loads of questions that you might find difficult to get answers to online, or just more timely to get the answers online. It's, it's, if, you want, if you want something specific, you can find it out, but if you're just looking for general information, 
sometimes it's not as easy to get that online. Uh, but here you can speak to somebody face to face, take about five, ten minutes of their time or maybe more and, uh, and find out the information you want. You can see it's, uh, it's Saturday morning, what time is it? It's half eleven and uh, if you look down here, Saturday morning half eleven, that's not the peak, Saturday afternoon is the peak. I mean these exhibitions are on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. 10 till 5 on the Friday and Saturday, 10 till 4 on the Sunday. Um, Sundays are very busy, the Friday is the slowest day, uh, but Saturday afternoon is generally when it's really, really uh, busy. Uh, but, you know, you see the amount of people there waiting for the next, uh, next seminar, it's quite incredible. There's another, there's another 100, 150 people standing around that can't get a seat. There's lots of estate agents that deal with new builds luxury apartments uh, and uh, you know, pre-owned obviously is the bigger market uh, so you know there's something for everybody so let's have a look let's have a look back at that uh, French village area see what we can see there even, even, pe even people in national dress my guess is Spanish. Um, I like what some people do with it. Some people have very, very minimal stands, and then others do something a bit special, if you ask me. I mean, that's nice, isn't it? You want to go in there and have a chat with these people. And also, uh, Place in the Sun, they've got um, private sellers advertising on their, uh, on their website, so they've... Uh, They've got a selection of them here. Of course, you can go across to privatesalesdirect.com for uh, a lot of private sellers. It's a very good website, privatesellersdirect.com. Um, so here we are back at the French village. Um, Don't exactly look excited, but they uh, maybe they're concentrating on what he's saying. Okay. Here we are again at the uh, cafe. People just walking in front of you. So, in summary, it's a good place to come. It's uh, depending on the, the ticket price is very reasonable. You can get ticket prices that include the parking as well, um, so that's good. But the amount of information you can get is quite incredible. So, in summary, I think if you're looking to buy abroad and you're at the start of your journey, these exhibitions that are held in, uh, it's in Birmingham obviously but we've got uh, there's one coming up in Dublin uh, there's one in Manchester and London normally at Olympia um, they're a good place to come and get the information and get uh, get inspired and narrow down a few things so that you can uh, focus on internet searches a bit better and uh, find somebody who can help you buy that property abroad. So this is David of Clay France signing off. I think I'm going to go and get myself a coffee and a panini. Okay.